Um, hello everyone and welcome back to subsistence. We are cooking some food here. We did catch some fish overnight. We are starting this episode out the same as the previous episode with an infection, guys. Not great. Um, we do have what we need with the exception of the kelp to clear this infection up, which is lovely. Um... But let's see if we can get some kelp today. I didn't have time overnight to check for rogues. I don't know where they are or anything like that. But today I'm going to try to get some kelp from the pond up here. Hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to get. Um, I would love to be able to get this kelp, get this crafted, and be done with the infection for a while. I think two infections in two days is... Uh, pretty crazy. I haven't had that many in the game since I've um, started playing it. So there's always a first time for everything it seems like with this game. So let's get just a bit of kelp. We need five pieces. Hopefully um, this pond will be good for that. If not we'll go down to the lake and continue getting what we need but we will take our liver with us so we can craft it and get this thing cured up. Um, let's see. I do see a kelp over here. Let's get this one. So that's two. I see another one right over here. That is three. Four. And I think this will be the last one that we need. Five, hopefully. Yep, we are good. We have our five pieces of kelp. We have our three um, medicinal tonic. Let's see if we can get back over to our outpost and get this taken care of. We do need a liver. Maybe we'll get one on the way there. Who knows? would be nice to find some crates on the way back over there. I mean, uh, we are out and about and we're looking for loot always. There's a wolf right here. Ooh, crate. Hello there. No scrap, but that's okay. Um, no cancer. Hopefully you have a liver. Stand to use that. Craft. Okay, let's get over here and get this crate and wash our hands. Um, so I mentioned earlier that I haven't had two infections in two days. Well, above ground. Down in the caves, it's pretty common to get a lot of infection very, very quickly. Those bats are horrible. And I really despise them. But we are figuring out the proper way to kill those bats. If you have not watched our last cave diving. Um, sort of cave exploration video. Go check that out. If you're curious how, how, how I have been killing the bats. Without really getting hit. Uh, works for the most part. Just takes a little practice. Let's put the biofuel away and the one feather. You don't go in there, you go in the ammo crate. And let's put you in here. We have 64 biofuel in here. Not horrible at all. Our fire is doing great. Let's go ahead and put the biofuel down here. And that looks good. So we have 248 biofuel. We don't use a lot of biofuel down here. The base pretty much takes care of itself. Let's go ahead and drink that antidote. No point in crafting it if we're not going to use it. Our infection is cleared up and that is lovely. Let's get out today and do a bit more looting. Um, again, I don't know where the rogues are. They could be nearly anywhere on the map. I have not checked for them.
maybe we should go back up this direction. We did have pretty successful day yesterday with the cougars. Other than all of the bears chasing us at the ending of the episode. Um, we were pretty successful yesterday. We did kill a rogue yesterday as well. We got his backpack. We caught him fishing. It was kind of really a sneak attack on him. <laughs> we kind of shot him back. But that's okay. He did not mind. Um, a chicken here. We'll try to get as many chickens as possible. Simply for the feathers, of course. Um, because we don't have any animal housing down here, feathers are an issue for us. We have to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, bear. Not extremely interested in the bear. Just hopeful to find some loot over here. Being that we were in this area yesterday, I was hopeful there was some loot over here. But it really isn't um, looking like that is the case. I do see a cougar up here. That's always nice. And a wolf. Please don't chase me. Well, he is. A piece of scrap protein bar. Not a bad day. Okay, the wolf is not still chasing us. At least I don't think so anyway. This is a level three cougar. Must have shot completely over his head. And we are dead. Oh dear. You're dead. Press left mouse button to respawn. Yeah, we have a long way to go, guys. Let's get down here. Let's get our emergency crate. We have clothing. put this on we have our level 4 bow we can leave the glow stick here we don't need it we have food we have protein we need arrows we do need some we'll take this pistol as well and the ammo from it want to get back down there and get my weapon have that let's have some tomatoes let's also take a canteen of water with us and let's get out the door it doesn't seem like the base took a lot of damage from the revenge attack so we don't have any animals in that but let's get back to our body So the cougars are always going to be the death of me. I do think that's the case. I really don't like the cougars, but sinew is necessary. We had a lot of arrows on us. We also had a lot of shotgun ammo on us as well. I really hate that we're going to lose a third of that. But all of our deaths have been um, from cougars for the most part. I don't think we've had a death from m many other things. Let's just loot on the way there. I mean, we might as well, right? If we would have known we were going to die that quickly, I do think a death takes care of an infection. I might be wrong about that. But if we would have known we were going to die and the death would have cured the infection, we wouldn't have crafted that um, antidote so quickly. 
There's a crate here. A couple of crates here, actually. Three scrap. Oh, dear. Do I have time for this? Probably. Hopefully we have time for that. If not, we are wasting time. There's the wolf that was over here that chased us for a bit, I do think. There's a cougar in the area down here, so probably should be very cautious of that. It is now level four, which sucks. Buddy is dead, and let's go ahead and harvest him and get our body or our bag. <laughs> we don't need the body, we just need the bag. And here is our death bag, of course. Let's put you over here. Let's put my boots on. Let's put you up here. You and you. I do need that. Okay. Let's reload the shotgun. And continue on our way. Let's wash our hands so we don't get infection for the second time today that would not be great and let's get our bandages down here and our health kits as well as our pickaxe the level two bow in place of the level four and you don't really need to be down here um just resorting some of this stuff. It's always a pain when you die. It takes forever to get your bag where you need everything or where you're used to having everything. My splint goes up here. And I'm missing something from the from this row for sure. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I am missing something up there. Uh, my bottles of water, they go in the corner, the berries, the protein bars, but I am missing something that goes up here. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. Um, there's a medicinal plant here. So I wonder if it's possible to kill any more cougars today <laughs> wouldn't it be nice I'm definitely a little confused about what was here oh this thing was up here I think that looks normal well hello there how are you probably should have the better bow down here for doing this type of stuff because it does do more damage. Come on. You can do it. I really do think we should be okay with seeing you for the most part for a while. Hopefully anyway. Um, we do have quite a bit of it now. We have been finding it in locked crates. So that's been nice as well. 
still should be one more cougar up here. There's a bear over there. There's a crate up here, which is nice. It wasn't the day we had planned. But it wasn't a horrible day either. So it's not too bad, I don't guess. It could have been a lot worse. We could have lost our bag and not have been able to retrieve it. That wouldn't have been great. There's some scrap up there. We have gotten 10 pieces of scrap already today. Even with our little um, accident. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, berries and nails are nice. I wonder if there's rogues in this area. I didn't even check for those guys. What do we have over here? We probably should reload the shotgun first. This is a level one. So it should only require one shotgun round. Yep. Very, very nice. Could have filled up that squire with some more sinew that was left in the inventory that was open. Would have been nice. Um, a bear over there. I think it's a bear anyway. Yep. It definitely is. Let me go the opposite direction. Get into the water and around. Maybe? Would work. There's a wolf over there. There's a bear up there. I guess we're going this way. Okay. Um, there's a chicken. We do need the chicken. Getting the feathers is always nice. Um, let's see. So, I hope everyone is looking forward to the three-day weekend coming up. Um, with Memorial Day and all of that going on here in the... United States. I'm not sure if it's the same around the world or not. Um, but, um, yeah. We get a long weekend here. So, hopefully I will get all of the videos pre-recorded this week that I need to keep you guys um, going until Tuesday when I will be recording. I won't be doing anything on Monday. But hopefully I can get some subsistence, some of the infected. I might even do the infected for Monday. I'm not quite sure yet. But um, if not, it'll be regular schedule. Uh, subsistence Monday through Friday. And then the infected on the weekend only. There's a wolf back there. And my stamina is getting pretty low. Not going to end well for me. Not going to end well for old KGG. Okay, we are at 17 stamina. Really hopeful I can get to at least the front porch area where the wolf should turn and run away. At that point, hopefully. Well, I don't have a window down here. Maybe I could see it over here. Yeah, I think that would be him right there. Okay, we don't have any wood to place in the fire. We do have a fuel brick here. Fuel brick. We have two chickens. I know that was a waste of a fuel brick, but it is what it is. Put the fat in here. Let's put the liver, the steaks, and the chicken away. Let's also get the shotgun out of our hands. We don't need that in here. We don't need to be shooting anything inside our base. 
going to be taking this ammo back with me. Let me put that away over here. Um, this shotgun I'm going to be taking back with me as well. Let me reload that. And get some things sorted here. Okay, these clothes are going back with me because this is the clothing that we have for down here. This pistol is going home with me. This bow, of course, is going home with me, the level four. I don't use it a lot because of the repair cost. It takes a ton of stuff to repair that. So I don't really use it a lot. Put you over here. You in here. You go in here and you. You go over here. This canteen of water needs to go back home with me. These pistol rounds as well. And uh, yeah, this crate is full of things potato seed needs to go home with me I might just eat this potato just because and place the shotgun in here we're going to be taking some scrap back with us a lot of sinew of course and this is still leaving us plenty of sinew for down here and um, yeah we have 17 still here so it's not too much of an ordeal Okay, let's get back out and do a bit more looting. There is some zinc right here. At the front door. Can't beat that. Let's go ahead and get that. I would love to make another lock pick for down here. So I might spend some time in between episodes gathering wood and um, trying to make another lock pick. Not quite sure when this video will go up. I am recording this early in the week. Trying to get caught up for the weekend. We have a lot of things going on here now that summer is here. We have a huge, huge project in the works. And we do a lot of that work on the weekend. So we don't have a lot of time. Or I don't have a lot of time to do any recording or editing or anything on the weekend. So I am trying to get caught up. Um trying to get everything I need to get done actually done I have videos being edited while I'm recording which is why you hear the little chime of course at times it's just it takes a lot of time to do this and I don't mind putting in the work at all I just don't want to put out bad content I want to make sure that the content is pretty good it's what you're used to having from me or what you would expect from getting from me. So, um, yeah. Um, just looking around, I did find three more pieces of scrap, which is very nice. Can't complain about that. It is starting to get pretty dark. I don't really want to be caught out in the dark. Please don't do that to me. I did hear something rip some type of clothing. I assume that it is now broken. Stamina's getting pretty low again. Hopefully we can make it back to the base before we die again. If not, it's going to be a long walk in the dark. There's a crate right here. Hopefully I can scare off the wolf. And to be able to get this crate... And we did get some planks. Yeah, I did have the the vest, I think is what tore. Yeah, it was in pretty bad need of repair, but um, I don't think we have cotton down here, which isn't great. So I might end up actually gathering up all of the things that I need to go home and um, go ahead and just do that. I might go home. We do have one piece of cotton, not nearly enough. I think it takes three pieces. Yeah, we don't have enough cotton to repair it. Um, our clothing is getting in dire need of repairs. As you can see, nearly everything needs repaired. So I might spend some time gathering up everything that we're taking home with us and just going back home for now. Uh, we have done a lot of work down here. We've gotten a lot of good loot. 
Um, the scrap was the biggest thing, and we're going home with um, 33 pieces. I might end up taking a little bit more of what we have uh, back with us. We have 33 pieces down here. Uh, might even leave less than that down here because it is a lot easier, it seems to me, to find that down here. So we might go back with 50 pieces of scrap. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and gather all of this up. Make sure the base is in a position to take care of itself and have some food and water and be ready to go home in the next episode, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching me die. But uh, no, I want to thank you so much for your support on this channel and on this series as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to future episodes. And I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.